Hey guys, Shalom Aleichem. Last week we spoke about um, being different. A Yid has to be separate from the Goyim. We have to remember, Asher Bachabonu Mikolo Amim. We have to be the cream that rises to the top. Now, this creates a problem. What about Gaiva? We're walking around proud all the time. We're supremacists. What is this? What are we about? So, Grandma Harbader had the solution. She used to, that's my wife's grandmother. She used to have a line that she told her children, solve this conundrum. She said, be proud, but be humble. That's the key. We have to balance those two things, being proud and being humble. Now, think about that exhilarating feeling when you're sitting in your window seat as the plane is taking off and there's the majestic view such a broad view and you're soaring high thinking about your vacation to Israel come visit us in yeshiva and all of a sudden you look down and you realize whoa everything is so small down there puny wait that's me really down there I live like that I'm that small we have that epiphany moment where we realize that we could be so high and yet so small at the same time. The Mishnah Novus Perak Aleph Mishnah Dalit says, Yosi ben Yoezer is Tsreda Omer, he beischa beisvad lachachamim, the heavy mesavik bafar aglehem, the heavy shosa batsama es devrayim. Make your house open to chachamim. Host shiurim. Host Rosh Hashiva when he comes visit. We can learn the Mishnah as a progression. If you do that, you, on the one hand, you could be proud that I got to host the Chachamim. But on the other hand, if you take a look at it right, the more we know, the more we realize that we don't know. You're exposed to Chachamim. You're exposed to Torah. You'll realize there's so much more to know. And then you'll sit at the dirt of the feet of the Chachamim. And if you do that, you become humble, and through that humility, you're able to learn, you're able to grow. Moshe Rabbeinu Chazal tell us, went up to Shemayim to be Mechabal the Torah, and the Malachim refused. They said, no, who do you think you are? You earthlings. Moshe Rabbeinu was afraid to answer the Malachim, he was afraid of being burned. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu told them, hold on to the Kisei HaKavod. In that way, you'll be able to answer them. And Moshe Rabbeinu did. He said, look, the Torah is shayach to us. You don't have parents. The mitzvahs are clearly not written for you. There was a certain humility that Hashem showed Moshe Rabbeinu was the key to being Mechabal Torah. The key to being able to learn and to grow. With all the pride that Moshe Rabbeinu could have had to be in Shemayim, talking to Malachim, the highest madriga nevuah that anybody ever got to, Moshe Rabbeinu. But that's not what got the Torah down to us. It wasn't the heights. It was the humility. It wasn't the be proud. It was the be humble. The Rabboni Shalom, we say about him, Hamagbi lashaves, but hamashpili liros v'ashamayim muva'aretz. We learn from the Rabboni Shalom, Kivayachom, even though he can be so high, but he can be humbly involved, the humility of Hashem, to be humbly involved, not aloof from the world. And that is the way we go about our lives as Yidin. We walk around with a pride. But it doesn't take us out of the world. We remain humbly involved. The key is to be outstanding, not standing out. If we stand out, it's gaiva, it creates problems. We live our lives, we're outstanding, and that's why we're proud of you.